Hey guys, Alex from Moonlight Tarot with a new pick a card. Today we're gonna check who's at your door and ready to come into your life. Who will be your next partner, romantic wise? So we have four piles, but these four piles do not cover all possible options. Please remember that this is a general reading. It may resonate with you, it may not resonate with you. If it's not your message, simply check out my other pick a cards. I have them for the same topic, I have different videos, I have monthly forecasts. And if I'm not your reader, check other amazing channels. There are a lot of uh, readers on YouTube and I'm sure one of them is made, making a video just for you today. If it is your message, however, I would really love for you to hit the like button, subscribe, stay tuned for more, let me know in the comments what you think. And you may also choose to follow me to the extended reading. I will take each pile to the extended and the link will be down uh, under the video in the description box and in the comments as well. So four piles. Pile number one with a black kitty. For pile number two, we have a space kitty. For pile number three, not kitty at all. It's a cute owl. And for pile number three, it's my favorite ran rainbow range. So something a little bit different for you to choose from. Please don't choose the same trinket or the same time frame, the same pile all the time. Uh, really try to feel which pile is calling for you. It's the best way to uh, find your message. And I'm um, giving you a second to choose and I will see you in timestamps. Hey, those who chose pile number one with this black big eyed kitty. Let's see who's at your door. Who's your next partner? This reading is not gender specific and before meant for women. Cards and messages are not um, related to the gender of the art on them, to the gender of the card. So we have the Empress, Three of Wands. Five of Swords, Queen of Cups, and Seven of Cups. I'm getting your energy, I'm getting your energy now, the viewer. You are the one who ready for love, and uh, you've been waiting and hoping and praying and uh, wishing for the right partner but it seems like you had uh, a lot of disappointments a lot of losses uh, lost relationships relationships went south relationships turned to be a pain in your ass or uh, hurtful abusing i don't know toxic relationships you've been battling a lot you had a lot of battles and it seems like you are the one who've been looking for the one the true love forever and ever and ever apart and yeah again every time you hope maybe this time it will be it and then it's ending the usual way again and you're like sitting like what what do I do now what's next am I wrong is does love even exist because you have a lot of love in your in your heart in your body in in your soul you have a lot of it and you are looking for somebody um who's gonna appreciate it and who's gonna take care of you and who's gonna uh, appreciate you taking care of them as well so currently you are kind of like is, is it really worth it trying again like opening this pandora box is it really worth it maybe i better stay kind of kind of on my own because I never found this king of cups who would love me on the same level as I love as I love people because I, I do love very deeply. You most of you or some of you may may have come here like the last hope. Okay, I know that I will not meet anybody, but let me check out this video for fun. Currently, you're going through something. You're going through some rough touch. Maybe because of the coronavirus crisis, something like some kind of ship sink, sank, some, some ship sank or sinking. Um, something in your life didn't turn out to be the way you expected it to. And you're trying to find some ground under your feet and that's why you are looking for some hope. 
for some of you it's not about coronavirus at all like at all but you're going through some storm in your life let's see more so let's see who's at the door who's at the door for those who chose ball number one by the way you are very mature you may have been more uh way more mature than your years uh, you know than your peers uh, you've been always serious about love you know so who's oh currently currently you are on your own you are single and you are lonely uh and this situation is given to you for a reason so you've been you've been through a lot we have by the way five and five here too you've been through a lot but um this experience has been given to you to learn first of all to appreciate your own life your own time your own self to start kind of seeing your own worth and um also to work you still it feels like you still haven't worked through this abandonment issue completely maybe you have it since you were a kid maybe you think that you have worked through i've been working on myself for years by now and blah 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 blah, blah, blah. i know i know the speech don't get upset but there is still something you are not seeing you don't want to accept you don't 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 it's like you are denying um that you are lying to yourself guys and girls you are lying to yourself those who chose pound number one there is still something you haven't worked through you have a very uh, big fear of being abandoned of being left behind fear of relationship as the result so the new beginning is kind of here, but it is stuck between five of pentacles and the devil. It is stuck between your issues and you need to work through. You need to overcome them. You need to stop limiting yourself. You need to stop denying it to yourself. You need to get through this. And when you are on the other side of your issue, you it's like are they fear fear it's fear like yeah you've been through a lot i get it like i'm life path number eight i know that i've been through a lot and i totally understand your fears as well but guys you gotta work through them if you want a new beginning and it's kind of here there is something at the door there is an opportunity at the door but it is stuck it is stuck and it depends on you whether you are going to uh, how soon you are going to meet this person you are going to meet them but how soon you're going to meet them it depends only on you not on the universe the universe has, has prepared everything the universe has, has done its job you are kind of denying something you are like i am smart already i am have ascended i'm on the super level i don't know what you're telling to yourself there is still something for you to work with through so when you've worked through this issue who will be at your door what kind of person is there who's there who's waiting oh yeah Ooh, ace of pentacles ace of swords and ace of wands you gotta leave behind your mm, not just your fear of commitment but also your idea of what kind of relationship you need you need and your next partner is kind of somebody who has hurt you before so somebody you know one more i wanted to jump out somebody you know oh uh but and most probably somebody you walked away from it, it is possible that they walked away from you uh as well but most probably you walked away from them because for some reason they've hurt you maybe it was sorry for the sounds sorry for the sounds in the background um a condo up, upstairs is being renovated so i don't know where when they they're doing things so let's continue 
hopefully if it happens again sorry it's out of my control so somebody you walked away from and but this time it will be different it will be different because yeah there has been something um, most probably third party situation like we're being showed a triangle right so third party situation something maybe um not this person broke your heart but an impossibility of you being with them we have the fire higher from here and the wheel of fortune also so uh it wasn't right for you to be with them for some reason so that's why you walked away but now this time we have the ace of pentacles and we have the ace of swords and we have the judgment well um it will be a reconciliation with with the person either who broke your heart or with whom you couldn't be together before now again we have a lot of major arcana and we have three aces here yeah i have to repeat myself again you need to leave behind your not fantasies for some of you it's fantasies for others it's like um the idea of how your relationship must be the relationships that you want the um how you've always wanted the one right and you have this idea or dream of how everything shall go and have blah 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 this or that how a person should behave you need to be more flexible there's something again i think that um when you're ready when you work through this issue this this new beginning will kind of pop up for you right away and you will know um how you need to be flexible in what you need to be flexible what i'm speaking about so um and i want one more card for this hierophant so it's either your person has been married before that's why it wasn't possible for you to be together uh because it's kind of coming to you it's emmy it's like it seems like the person is four of swords yeah most probably um either they're and four of cups so something is happening with their uh marriage commitment relationship or uh the okay so to put it short because there were kind of different situations rules have changed there were some kind of rules maybe because of the marriage maybe because of other obstacles that have been um, between two of you because of the job situation maybe you've been working together in the same company and it prohibits uh romantic relationships something like this there were some kind of rules which uh have acted as the third party right and uh, now they're changing this person uh, is not following these rules anymore not following and things are turning around so it's a reconciliation with somebody from the past and major one it's a major you see three aces major shift major beginning okay let's see a little bit more about the person who's coming a little bit more about their character their personality i want to know more maybe soulmate soulmate maybe you felt like you are t yeah felt like you are together felt like you can do more mm, a very okay two sixes two eights like this is something super synchronistical let's see hmm. one more i want one more it was some kind of um so first of all you are we have mirroring here you definitely mirror each other um there is some similar traits of your character of your personality it feels like both of you felt uh, i feel like it, it has been mutual both of you felt like you are connected somehow the connection on the soul level or like you are family like you know each other or like you've known each other from from like forever it might have been an instant recognition or not necessarily but uh, you knew you knew that this is maybe a soulmate or a person from the past lives or just had a sense of this recognition and both of you kind of motivated each other in this relationship and this connection somehow you helped each other grow and uh, also this relationship has a lot of um, promise a lot of uh, potential like you will also be helping each other grow um 
and you will be kind of energizing each other and it will be it will be also clear why um why you had this experience in the past why you had all this experience in the past and why all these cups had to be spilled had to be broken so uh it seems like when you will come together, you will realize why you had to go through this, why you had to go through your past relationships, why you had to go through all the disappointments on all the obstacles and um, the, the, the separation as well. And there's one one more thing. You are equals with the seven of um, ones here. You are equals and it will be... Don't be too pushy. Don't be too pushy because it, there can be a competition between two of you, you know, like who's smarter, who's uh, stronger, something like this. Sorry, I'm really sorry about that, guys, but I've been trying to wait when it stops. But it kind of comes and goes during the day. One more card. I want one more card here. Okay, this one. Yeah. You are definitely equals with the two of swords. Uh, again, stubborn, maybe like, um, but it's more about you. You know who that is. I think that you know who that is. Of course, we, we we're speaking about somebody you know, but you know who I'm talking about. And uh, this is kind of your. For some of you, it's a twin. Yeah, twin flame. I, I'm. I don't like this uh, label, but. Some of you will speak about this for sure. Uh, soulmate, twin flame connection, very strongly coming up here. It's your equal. It's your partner. It, it is somebody who is at your level. So if you know that you are the empress, you are meeting your emperor. And also this relationship will kind of... You will talk a lot. You will kind of talk a lot. You will have a lot of topics to talk about and... Um, it, it it's gonna feel like you you were going to pick up where you left when you got separated for this reason you really like to talking to each other okay and your person is definitely going through something leaving something behind leaving something behind to be to, to come forward to you um Either they are leaving somebody or somebody is leaving them. Something happening. So if we're speaking about somebody who has been married, so they're going through a divorce. Okay. This is very interesting, guys. Um, and I've been talking a lot <laughs> with you. So uh, if you feel like it's your message, you may choose to follow me to the extended reading. The link will be down below in the description box or in the comment section. So check it out. Uh, if not uh if you're not following me there i hope to see you soon with my other videos uh numerology monthly numerology is coming really really soon so most probably on wednesday like you will get them or tuesday wednesday thursday okay this week they're coming out this week anyway and um see you soon and i'm moving to pile number two now hey those who chose pile number two with this space kitty let's see who's your next partner who's at the door. Ooh. Interesting. This is somebody you've been waiting for for a long time. So pile number two is also somebody from your past. I'm not sure yet. But we have the four of wands, the temperance, for the ace of wands, two of pentacles and five of cups. Uh, this is somebody with whom you will be able to build uh, most probably for, for most of you it will be uh, a marriage or at least a long-term partnership and um, like owning a home together or renting a home together having kids it's a long-term thing well, we'll see I want I want I want one more card for you I want one more card to see if this is somebody from your past or oh, it's a new person pile number two it seems like you've been waiting I feel like you've been waiting but I want to know I want to know for sure uh, six of swords you've been waiting yeah so pile number two 50-50 uh, long distance relationship 
or um, there has been some space between two of you or there has been some time between two of you you've been waiting you've been waiting you've been waiting you've been waiting and you've been thinking like will he come or will she come uh how, did i make the right choice or the wrong choice so yeah for some of you it can be like your your person who has left for a long-term working contract somewhere and is coming back home but again for most of you like 90 percent of you this is somebody from you know your, your past or your current situation and you're waiting for them to come forward to step step up step up their game to do something because you have your passion there you have your passion but you're sitting and waiting like this you know having your arms crossed like this and you're like so when you're gonna do something when you're gonna do something like am i am i right waiting for you or not For some of you, you you are already engaged or at least you have talked about it and you're questioning like you, you came to check. Maybe there is somebody else coming. Maybe I'm waiting for, for not for the right reasons. Maybe there is someone else here, but no. <laughs> this is your person who you are waiting for. Let's see a little bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knight of Pentacles. Come on. Maybe this person promised you to to get married like five years ago. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting again. And you're like, come on. Come on. Will it ever happen? Uh, but it will. But yet it will. Uh, definitely this person makes you doubt this person makes you question your happiness so long long distance relationship like when, when you are with them you're like super happy when you're not with them it's driving you nuts and yeah they have promised you something again or you are engaged already uh, and it seems like your person is yeah something some something is connected with their job or future job maybe they're studying somewhere and you are waiting for them to get back maybe they're studying abroad and you're waiting for them so there is something like this distance either they're coming and going or they're staying abroad or somewhere far from you maybe they're serving in the army and they promise that then when they're back they're gonna marry you something like this and Sometimes you want to poke your eyes out. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm seeing this picture like you almost, you know, scratching your eyes out. Like, uh, like, please, I just need to know. I just need to know. I'm tired of waiting and waiting and not knowing, not being sure. There is some, um, I think they, they on, on their side, it's like they, their word is solid, but you're like, it's been so long. Like, I have no idea if I can't believe them, if I can't trust this person, right? Whew. Interesting, pile number two. I know it's not interesting for you. You're like, what? Okay, I will, I will, I will not say what you just said, but I'm not making fun of you whatsoever but I know it's driving you crazy but uh, it is interesting I mean how how things happen and how how different your energies are it seems like your person thinks like why is she worrying I, I promise her like and I'm solid but uh, you no wonder that you are anxious and wondering if it's true so let's see more about this partner about their personality about their character who's at your door Page of student ooh devil ooh the ooh two of swords and another knight of pentacles yeah maybe again your person can be a student they may be studying somewhere studying and studying and studying <laughs> I know I'm repeating myself a lot for problem number two, but it seems like, you know, it, the process has started, has begun, and it's never ending. It's continuous all the time. It's like they went somewhere maybe for one year, and then uh, it, it turned out to be three years, and then it turned out to be five years, and you are, you feel like you are stuck. You are stuck in something that, on the one hand, promises you uh, major 
changes, major uh, happiness, you know, um, on the one hand, you feel like this can be the one, but on the other hand, you feel like you are stuck and you are stuck for good. And um, also this person, you see, with this page of swords, as if his sword is kind of also stuck and it is happening continuously with many different aspects. And you, again, on the one hand, you feel like this can be the one. On the other hand, too slow too slow and can be a student of some sort please tell me is the student a teacher possible education working in education but something connected with that uh, maybe science or um army serving somewhere something like this something like this but uh, even if it's not connected with these spheres i just uh spoke about too slow to too to too to, to, to just impossibly slow i don't know how you have so much patience space kitties it's like you are you are super passionate and at the same time super patient you're waiting for this growth for this uh for this want to to bloom you know Ace of Wands. so uh anything else about the partner who's at the door but since we're asking at the door it means they're coming coming through soon finally Ooh, <laughs> page of pentacles and knight of pentacles. Okay, one card tried to run away. Nine of wands in reverse. It can be a person of earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. Somebody who you think is not uh, not decisive enough, not decisive enough, and maybe immature with the Page of Pentacles and the Sun, immature, immature, and somebody who has um, well, as you feel it, because I do feel your energy, and I feel it strongly, and you kind of angry, pile number two, and of course I understand why. Um, you feel like this person has betrayed you many times, failed you, failed you, failed or, failed or betrayed you many times, and the person who is turning out to be not as um, mature, maybe, as you would like them to be, because we have pages and knights and uh, here, and you really want them to be the queen or king of pentacles, right? You really want them to be more mature, more caring, more stable, but for now, they are just slow. They're just slow. But they're somewhere near. They're somewhere near. And okay, I want one more card for you. One more card. Yeah. You you know they are your family. You know they are your family. You don't know that um again. You are very happy with them. You can be yourself with them. Maybe you know each other since you were kids. Also possible here. But it's like this person is your world on the one hand. On the other hand, super duper slow. So. But since this person is at your door, coming coming through soon. But, well, now you have your confirmation. And if you, if you feel like it's your reading, you may choose to follow me to the extended. I will be taking it to see more about the situation, what you need to know, some advice for you in the future of this connection. If you feel like you want to follow, the link will be down below in the description box and also in the comment section. Uh, if not, I hope to see you soon with my other videos. I have numerology forecast will be on uh, my channel soon. And don't forget to join me on thursday for some of it will be wednesday night uh i will be doing first time ever i'm freaking out online uh chit chat questions and answers and card pools to celebrate my birthday with you on the 26th of march is my birthday so i want to spend some of it with you guys okay we'll be happy if somebody joins me anybody let's uh move to pile number three now Hey, those who chose pile number three with this cute owl. Let's see who's at the door for you. Who will be your next partner? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hey, you know them. 
you know this person but uh, you think they are superficial they are maybe inconsistent flirty funny you know just um, party girl or party boy and uh, maybe that uh, they're involved with somebody or they're changing their partners every night and you're like you know what no thank you kind of tempting but no um, but there is a connection there is a deeper connection and you feel it and you know it and you are questioning it you cannot you cannot understand it um, with this moon card I feel like you are uh, confused you feel like with the ten of pentacles and the, with the high front for some of you this person can be married currently to somebody else um, there is also a possibility pile number three that you are married and you are asking about somebody else who's outside also possible but I feel like for yeah for, okay let let's go with three possibilities here and the third possibility is you feel like there is some kind of soul connection and you you cannot explain it and you're trying to find answers and maybe that's why you went into spirituality you don't understand this is not the person you you would choose for yourself or you wouldn't get involved in the into the third party situation willingly or consciously and you're like <laughs> like I'm split in half I have no idea what to do one half of uh, me is trying to be reasonable and um, beyond this and the other half is like I just want them and just need them something like this here it's coming up and you're trying to tell yourself like let's be reasonable let's be reasonable be reasonable be reasonable please it's like it's it's uh, against the rules but the other half of you like I don't care I don't freaking care let's see yeah it's like a temptation like this apple you know on the tree Page of Pentacles. You, yeah, this person, okay, another Four of Cups. This person is in your life and you're getting to know each other. Maybe it's a new connection, uh, but this person is already in your energy. Or maybe you will uh, meet them very soon. But they're already in your field. <sighs> you, you've been learning to love yourself. You've been learning to love yourself. And uh, again, page and page. Definitely, you've been learning to love yourself, to take care of yourself, to tell yourself, like, I am worthy of somebody worthy. And bam, now we have his with this, this, this person looks like they are immature. You do see them as immature. You're like, no, thank you. No, no, no. I love myself. No, I will be at peace. I will be meditating. Like, please, God, please, universe, help me, help me. I don't want to, I don't even want to see this. But the passion is like ding, 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 tingling there. From, behind, from inside of you and, you and maybe coming to you in, in your dreams maybe you're having sexual dreams about them. maybe you're blushing when they talk to you or start giggling or maybe I don't know what you're doing but you do, the passion is there and it's starting uh, kind of to grow against your will hmm, naughty naughty pile number 3 let's see, well you're trying to be really good I have to give you the credit you are really trying <laughs> To play by the rules uh, that you've chosen for yourself. Let's see more about this personality. Let's see if this person is as immature as you see them. Hmm. Hmm. You. File number three. Very, very interesting reading. No, this person is not as immature as you see them. This person is the king of pentacles. But you won't see it very soon. It's going to take time for you to, to see it. Well, first of all, it seems like you are going to become friends. Very good friends. Mm, with the six of pentacles and the ten of cups. This person, you know, if they maybe laugh a lot or joke a lot the jokers they kind of usually mm, not necessarily sad inside but uh much more stable than they look no stable is not the right word much more um serious than they look um 
they're just hiding they're just hiding something it's like you need to walk up the stairs to be able to see this pentacle you know but so and they also kind of reciprocate if you invest something they also invest something just like this with the ten of cups they're kind of really caring and it is possible that your relationship will start from friendship from very warm and caring friendship because this person doesn't go into a relationship quick they're hiding how lonely they are your person is lonely they may look like they have million of millions of friends but uh this is superficial these are superficial connections and uh they're really lonely and uh by the way again we have six and six six of cups and six of pentacles they oh, they feel like they have some some childlike streak in them they can laugh a lot and joke a lot or enjoy small things you know and it, it kind of inspires you but at the same time what i'm getting here is that both of you feel some this connection both of you feel this connection it's mutual but again with the temperance here this connection is not the one who will grow quick it will take months and for some of you years for you to get um intimate with each other really it's important but this connection needs time to grow it's gonna take time for sure let's see see more about the person about their character what can we learn about them your person said bye bye to something or somebody again and i want one more and there's an emperor again hiding under this fool so they may look like they have no care in the world but actually with the king of pentacles and the emperor this is somebody who is stable in your case this is a stable person uh a bit they feel like they are older than they are and they feel a bit confused about um relationship they left something behind or somebody behind like um maybe somebody there has been some secrets in their past some secrets oh i'm getting for some for some of them some dark secrets not necessarily them but maybe something happened to them or something has been done to them but they have some secrets in the past and they moved most probably they have moved from one city to another or from one country to another running away from something um in their past they don't want to talk about they've started anew so maybe they're not talking about their past a lot maybe they're joking around or if you're asking them questions about what, what happened in your past they're starting to to just um, create jokes they just laugh about it um, and they're not being straight about it because well it's not the right time it's gonna take time it's gonna take time for you to know the real the real the real them uh, and this person kind of very determined and um, energetic. They they have a lot of energy, and they have a lot of goals, and they are pretty much unstoppable. Like even if they don't know what to do or where to go, if they know nobody in this city, they will find a way. They will find a way. Interesting, interesting character with dark secrets in the past. Well, guys, if you know who I'm talking about. Um, you may choose to follow me to the extended. I will take this reading to um, to the extended to see more. Um, what else can we get about the situation, this person, and about the future of this connection for the two of you? Uh, if you don't want to fall, if you choose to do this, the link will be down below in the description box and in the comments as usual. If not, I hope to see you soon with my new videos. The numerology forecasts are coming soon this week, and uh, oh, I'm dreading it, but I will be doing. Um, an online uh, chit chat questions and answers and uh, free free card pools for you on uh, well i have it on the channel already uh, in the community section i have an um a post about it and um i kind of posted it on my channel or on my channel as well when it's gonna happen you can check 
uh, the time there. Okay, so hope, hopefully somebody will join me. <laughs> if not, that's okay. I'm gonna talk to myself. I'm used to it already while doing this video is for you. And I'm moving to pile number four now. Hey, those who chose pile number four with this rainbow orange pin, let's see who's at your door, who will be your next partner? Hmm. Somebody secretly in love with you. And they're gonna open up to you. So, um, oh, you may be secretly in love with them too, by the way. Why am I singing? I have no idea if you ask me. I don't usually do this, but you make me guys sing. You, you make me sing. I don't know what, what, what. I feel like this is you, queen, queens of wands. Let it be you. You are the queens of wands. You are creative. We have the magician here as well. Talented, versatile, um, have different, like this rainbow range. You are creative, pile number four. Even if you tell me like, no, it's not true, it's true, it's true, you just don't know it, but most of you, you know it, you are creative, and you have more than one talent. Some of you are not, have not blossomed yet, you're just in, the, in, in on your journey to discover your talents, because I do see this chain, it's like you're chained down, but the growth is happening, you just don't see it, but you will, because with the Queen of Wands and the Magician, like two most creative cards coming together, and I'm feeling your energy, guys, you are very creative, and uh, with time you will be making money with your creativity. But at the same time, you are, mm, how to say, reserved. You're fragile. You're fragile inside. So that's why you're not really opening up. You may be introverts. Maybe introverts or socially awkward. Um, you, you're kind of hiding. See, there are those flowers and decoration. You're hiding it from other people. You're not letting them know. Maybe you are writing and not telling anybody. Maybe you're dancing and not telling anybody. Um, and you're kind of hoping that this person will uh, recognize you that they will admire you that they will see that they are gonna see um, what you can do it's important for you um, for them not just to see you as a person but to admire your um, you as a creator right hmm so Let's see more. Most probably everybody is in love with everybody, but nobody is uh, telling anything. Everybody's hiding the obvious. Let's see. Don't make me sing again, please. So what else can we get for pile number four? Who's at their door? Somebody you've been waiting. Again, so today we have a theme. For most of you, uh, you know who your partner is. You know the person who will be your next partner. Again, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Why are you confused about your talents? Why are you battling yourself? So, I don't know why, but it's really, really important. It's coming up very strongly. Guys, why are you battling your talents? Either you, are, you may be denying your talents, or you're telling yourself that this is your dark side. Or you are confused about your talents. Or you think you are not worthy. Or you think you cannot do this. Something like this. You are chaining yourself down. Remember I told you I'm drawn to this chain. You are chaining yourself down. For some reason. Or you, Maybe somebody told you it's not the good thing to do for a girl or for a boy. I don't know. Maybe if you're a boy, you're telling yourself you cannot dance. Or if you're a girl, maybe you're shy. Maybe you're from, uh, I don't know, religious community. And it's not good to go on, on a scene and to, to sing or to do something, to dance. Whatever it is for you. You're trying to hide yourself. You're chaining yourself down. You're trying to deny your talents. But you are freaking queens of wands. You can't do this. You can't do this to yourself. If you do this to yourself, you will never be happy. Like you are creative personalities and there is an urge inside of you to create. But okay, I will not yell for you any longer because um, it will pass. It will pass. It's just maybe you need this uh, now because something is growing inside of you. You are growing because you are future empresses. And again, you will be making money with your uh, creativity. Not now, in the future. 
you will be. And again, this is somebody you've been waiting for, maybe dreaming about, maybe fantasizing about, maybe again, this is your secret crush. Yeah, definitely secret crush. And you will be like, mm -hmm, I will become his wife one day, Lala. Okay, you're making me crazy, guys. <laughs> What's up with you? You're making me crazy. Um, yeah, some of you are telling me you are crazy. Yeah, I know that. I know that. King of Cups. This is somebody watching you. While you are kind of being torn by your inner conflict, there is somebody watching you and yeah, somebody secretly in love with you. You are dreaming about them and this person showing no signs that they're interested. No signs. Just kind of not even blinking there. Making it look like they don't, do not exist. Or like you do not exist. Everybody's hiding here, guys. Come on. I'm, the mask. The, the, I cannot take my eyes off of it. Uh, everybody's hiding. Everybody, yeah. Like everybody's secretly, secretly in love. Secretly crushing on each other. But nobody's saying anything. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So what can we get? What more can we get about this person? About their character? Yeah. This person can be also a creative personality. Hmm. Ooh. They are going through something you don't know about. They are going through some secret stuff. There's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of secrets here. A lot of denial here. Guys, for some of you, you can be just young people. Or you can be immature. There's something both of you. You are not you yet. You have not reached your potential yet. And this person is going through something as well. We have the Knight of Cups. The Ten of Swords. The Death card. Seven of Swords. Five of Cups. And the Sun. I don't usually speak about magic at all, but some, some of them, either they are involved with magic some way, maybe their mom or their um, aunt with somebody in their family, some woman in their family is doing some magic, or maybe they are learning some craft secretly, again, the moon is upside down, so there is something happening under the surface with this person. Something major, something secret, something you don't know about, maybe nobody knows about. On the surface, they may behave as, again, somebody fun, enjoying, again, young, or youthful, but there is a major pain, major pain inside, they're hiding inside a major pain. Secret, 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 secret. Mm. So, I want one more, I want one more for this Five of Cups. I don't know why, but I want one more. Yeah, they're hiding. They may even have suicidal thoughts. It's not a good time. Uh, well, again, currently, both of you are not in a good place to become a couple, to get into a relationship. So, uh, but... They're hiding how much they are unhappy. There is definitely some secret, secret, secret pain, secret something going on with your person. They've been more, more confused than you are. Uh, you may be from different religious backgrounds. Uh, there may be something, yeah, of the religion or rules of their home, uh, for example, or there may be, okay, fine. there may be also an arranged marriage thing, like they are arranged for marriage, promised for marriage to somebody else, or you are promised to, for marriage to somebody else. Again, can be cultural differences, religious differences, some major differences, uh, that kind of show to this person that speaks speak to this person that it's impossible for them to be with you and they're tearing themselves apart because of it like it's impossible impossible i want it it's impossible it's impossible we have two death cards here 
with the King of Wands, it, it seems like your person is going through some major transformation. They're dealing with the major issue and it's like they will come out on the other side as the King of Wands, as somebody who's um, doing rather than thinking. By the way, you can't help them in it. And in this, this is they are transformation and they need to get through this to grow up, to become who they are supposed to, to become to learn to stand on their two feet you know stand stand their ground to do what they want to do um so uh yeah right now you are separated by some rules or religion or culture or again something and everybody is hiding everything but with time by the way, major arcanas and two deaths here. Uh, it speaks about it's not one day or one week. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. For some of you, there will be some news within three months. For others, in three to seven months, there will be some news. But um, again, something major happening that you don't know about. And but this person will grow up and. Mm, since we're asking about the next partner, they will be able to overcome these uh, obstacles or these rules, these cultural differences or religious differences between two of you. Very interesting readings today, guys. Well, uh, again, I will take this pile to the extent and as well to see what the future holds for, for the two of you for this connection. Uh, if you feel like it's your reading, you may choose to follow me there. The link will be down below in the description box and in the comments as well. Uh, if not, I hope to see you soon with my other videos. The numerology forecasts are coming and also I will be doing an online chit chat, question and answers and uh, th free cards full for you as well. Um, I have um, a post on my comment section and it's posted, the premiere posted on my channel as well. You can see when it will be in Calculate if you can be present. I would really love if somebody joined me. <laughs> if not, it's cool too. Okay, uh, see you soon. Have a great day and bye.